the Animus shows you are being watched by an informed guard, you should blend immediately. Even the slightest disturbance will attract his attention. I am... alive. But I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And then you slept the sleep of the dead. Of the womb. That you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember, Altair, what it is the assassin fight for? Peace. In all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you've brought upon us. Malik thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this would be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your possessions. Your rank as well. You are a novice. A child once more. As you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. So you'd have me take a life? No. Not yet, at least. For now, you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others tracked your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable. One of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. in peace, Altair. You're in my way. Yes, Al Mualim has asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The Assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket, or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market. He's going to hurt someone. I know it. I know what I saw. Vosun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. 
What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. What's going on? What's he running from? Why is he running around? No. Oh. Please, just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? What letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. betrayed us. Two days attack was but the first. And more will follow unless you repent. Give up your wicked ways. Rise up against the madman of Masyaf. See through his lies. <laughs> Enough. I yield. I yield. Speak quickly then. I've no interest in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should too. Their cause is just. We? Jamar. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Mualam who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent, to renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart, but truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. You did well, Altair, and have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills. Their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. 
nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. been exposed to the guards, break their line of sight, and try to hide from them. 
Stay hidden. The short blade is best for quickly fending off multiple enemies.
to be out here, old man. I've done nothing wrong. Why are you doing this? Old man, you want something? No. I've done nothing wrong. Why are you Bro, doing this? Your life ends now. I only wish my sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that we hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. You there! Yes, you! Come! That Dyer man never find you anything hurry. useful at the other merchant stalls? That won't happen here. Your 
<laughs> Want a bargain? I'm your man! Come, come! Something needs to be done. It's only a matter of time before someone else discovers it. Tell him then, it's in his best interest to keep the souk secure. He won't meet with me. Too busy with this new deal of his. And the guards? Tried already. They won't lift a finger unless the order comes from him. Then what will you do? I'll go to Abu Nukut. The merchant king? <laughs> he won't see you. He doesn't have to. I've written him a letter that explains the problem. He can read it and decide for himself. I took something from one of Tamir's men, and now they're after me. Please, see me to safety, and I'll share it with you. Finding anything useful at the other merchant stalls? That won't happen here. You, sir, you look like you need something. You'll find it here, I'm sure. We are safe now. I can manage on my own from here. Take this. Hopefully it will aid you in your mission. Seems to be an invitation of sorts. I'm telling you, it's rats. No, it's children. I hear them laughing. Rats or children. Either way, it's bad for business. All that noise! Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master. Oh, 
Open your eyes. What? Yeah. Where are you going? I've seen everything now. You want something? No, come the English king and his kingdom. Like oh. 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 What's wrong with him? Ah. Why is he doing that? Why would anyone do that? Safety and peace, Altair. I trust you are looking for information to aid you in your strike against Tamir. I fear I have nothing to offer. But uh, Bahir might. He shouldn't be too far from here. I wonder if he's being chased by someone. Sent you, eh? An interesting choice, though not my place to judge. The Rafik has asked me to observe the souk that Tamir calls home. Here's what I have learned. There's a group of troublemakers who gather around its southeastern exit. They and the guards do not get along. Find a way to earn their friendship, and they'll surely be of service to you. Without peer. And so Tamir left, riding north and wondering what would become of his supplies. For soon, they would surely spoil. That should have been the end of this tale and the poor man's life. But fate intended otherwise. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salahadin's men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. You seem to know quite a bit about Tamir. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell, nothing more. A pity. There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait! There is one thing. Continue. He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad -Din. This does not help me, which means it does not help you. No, stop, listen! Not Salah ad -Din. They're for someone else. The crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. It seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I've told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest. God curse the one who's done this. Where are you?
Altair, it is good to see you. And in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I trust you have searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes. Here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in the return was you fill the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? You dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No! Stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me? Face! No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. I beg of you just a few coins, please. A few coins. All I ask is for a few coins. Please, sir, have any money? I need food. I'm so hungry. That's absolutely. Be at peace. 
peace. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to al Malim. I am certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest.
So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists, at least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy-ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked! Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see, I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Hey, you know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? Yeah, I mean the present. Now, today, whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English, so expect a few, ana few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Ooh. Yeah, definitely not for you. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? What goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunications stuff is particularly interesting. I can't even change my clothes. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric just as stupid. And your point is? Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. <laughs> 